What is going on, everyone? It's Kelly here, and we are in Belize. I am here fishing with the Marlin Mag ladies team. We got Dusty, we got Shelby, and we got Maddie. But we showed up a day early on Dusty's private jet just so we can get some fun time in. We're gonna be snorkeling the reef, we're gonna be spear fishing, and doing a little bit of a catch and cook on a beach here in Belize. We got Lalo, he got set it. up this whole thing for us. And we got Captain Chris in the back. You guys, of course, it's a bit windy out here, but we're gonna deal with it. So right now we're gonna go ahead, go off into the distance and see what reef we can't hit first. I'm super excited to go explore the underwater world here in Belize. As you guys know, spearfishing is my thing, so I can't wait to get in the water and show you guys what Belize is all about. And you've got passports, I ask you. Yep. That's a good thing. We got passports. They'll get all freaky otherwise. And you get not one, but two airline airplane flights today because there's a little puddle jumper for the big airport I'm taking you to okay. out to the peninsula that you're going to. It is hot up here. Pilot Richard let me sit up in the front seat for the first leg of our flights. So I boarded in Stewart, Florida, and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up Dusty, Shelby, and Maddie in West Palm. So we probably got like, what, a 15 minute flight? <laughs> More like Pretty seven. Short. Seven minutes? That's crazy. Ooh, that's hot. So we just gotta go back to the to take off this. Okay. We're doing a lot of construction. Got it. We gotta go this way up the runway, and then we can take off going that way. This is so exciting. That is a whole nother feeling being in front of the plane lifting off. We officially just landed here in Belize. We are checking in. We got a little information here. Um, it's very humid, a little overcast, so it's not scorching hot at least, but we're gonna get all checked in. We have to hop on another flight to get to the island that we're staying on. What do you say? I'm so paranoid traveling. What? You guys, we're about to get on this prop plane right now. <laughs> Check this out. See that prop of the nose? Maddie's super excited to get on this flight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are we the only ones? We're the only ones on this plane. Wow. We got like a 14 minute ride to get to San Pedro where our hotel is on Grand Carib. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Woo. This is actually a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So we 
had to make a little pit stop before we get to San Pedro and pick up some more people. So we have an absolutely full flight. So I got bumped up to the, uh, what is this seat called? Is there a name for this co -pilot. seat? All right, I got bumped up to the co-pilot. I don't know if you should trust me uh, flying this thing though. Kelly's in the water shooting our lunch and we're enjoying a Belkin, which is the beer of Belize. Billy. Woo, woo. So hopefully she's down there catching fish or shooting fish, I should say, because we're starting to get a little hungry. Coming in and out of there it aren't helping, but if you see them, shoot them. You see them again? He went over there. Yeah, he's a big one. over 
That's you. to get that fish we only had one flashlight note to self i really need to invest in a flashlight but i dove down a few times i didn't see the snapper he saw the snapper and i'm like what the heck i can't i don't see it so i dove down with the light again and i see one big flash in my head i'm like that looks like a big mutton but he said he saw some cubera which i did see a bigger fish not sure what it was it was probably a massive cubera but we didn't see him again so it kept murking up down there because those two nurse sharks kept swimming in the ledge, swimming out of the ledge, swimming in the ledge. So we had to kind of, when we breathed up, we waited for the murk to clear. So I dove down and this big nurse shark kind of swam out of the murk towards me when I was in the hole. And I was like, okay, so I'm just focused on not getting bit by a nurse shark, which believe it or not, when they bite you, they'll hold on. And I just don't want to do that. <laughs> so. I was kind of redirecting the nurse shark away from me and out of the hole. And then I, I kind of glanced back, but I need to go up to get air. And I saw the fish laying in the sand. And I'm like, dang, well, at least we got our fish though. So, all right, on to the next spot. Hey, Chris, yeah. good job. All right, man. Let's see what you got going on. <laughs> we got Dusty and Maddie trying on some masks. We got Shelby over here. So they're gonna get in the water and snorkel. This water is absolutely insanely clear. Check it out. I mean, it's beautiful. Super windy, but you can see the reef. You can see the reef right there. It's only about 12 feet, 15 tops.
So we didn't have too much luck spearfishing today. There was a few nice porgies in the water that I was trying to outsmart. However, if you guys know porgies, they're insanely smart fish. I feel like bigger the fish eye, smarter the fish. So as you guys saw in the video, I threw up some sand. I waited, I waited, I waited, and they'd come, they would come in hot to the sand being thrown up, but then they would just stall and just look at me like they knew something bad was coming. So unfortunately I didn't spear another fish, but behind me they're playing some music. So I can't uh, be too long with the music playing behind me, but we're gonna go ahead and play this mutton here, which we got the good parts. We got the shoulders of the fish um, and that nurse shark went ahead and bled the fish out for us. So we're gonna go ahead and fillet this, cook it up on the grill, and we'll see what uh, Chris and Lalo brought for us for some lunch today. They're swimming in the water right here and there's two bonefish eating the leftovers of that mutton. Maddie's about to pounce on these bonefish right now. No one. Huh? All right, Chef Chris. No, Chef Chris. <laughs> Chef Chris. I'm still learning, guys. We got the mutton head. We got the throat. Still Calm down. Guys. And we have our fillets here. You're still. That's looking pretty good for just learning. I suck at this. I'm telling you, <laughs> if it doesn't taste good, Lelo made it. <laughs> Lelo made it. I don't even know where Lelo went. He's over there trying to make a fire. <laughs> oh, he doesn't have the. Oh, is he on the grill? I should probably go help him. Take a picture. Sorry. So the, honestly, you can't go wrong if you have fish. Just add, honestly, experiment. Add any type of vegetable. You got peppers, onions, parsley, cilantro, potatoes. I mean, you can even do citrus, orange, lemon, lime. You can't really go too wrong. We got a bunch of bonefish coming into these shallow, crystal clear waters, like right next to the boat. I wish we had a smaller hook, but Maddie's trying to catch one off the back. We only have like big kingfish rigs, but hey, never know. Lalo, you got that fire started? We got it started over there. Awesome. They working pretty good? They working pretty good? What? Your oven mitts. Oh, yeah, man. Next best thing. Chris just took some of the food off of the grill right now. It's super, super hot. We got the head and the throat in here, and we have some of the filet with vegetables in this one. Watch your step. What'd you do? You step on something sharp? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, there's just been this little cute raccoon over here that has been coming to check us out every like 15 minutes just to see if we left the premises so he can come up and clean up after us. This island we're on is like super, super isolated. Um, it's not the mainland at all. We did throw him a Chips Ahoy cookie though, just for a little treat. He was pretty cute. We're gonna go ahead and let this food cool a little bit and then we're gonna dig in. Where'd you get that tortilla? Oh, is it like a pita bread? A tortilla for me. Dang, I should have put that on first. Yeah. Uh -huh. Making a half a burrito here. This is so good. Oh, 
We have been sitting here for probably about 40 minutes and the wind has not picked up. As soon as I turn the camera on, it's blowing. So let's see here. Here's a little piece of this mutton. That's actually pretty good. Chris yeah, used like a like a curry seasoning with some garlic powder, black pepper, a little bit of hot sauce, a little bit of barbecue sauce, which I was very intrigued with. Mm. That's pretty good. What do you think, Shelby? Mm. Very good. Good. What do you think of Dusty? Very good. Maddie over there, hangry Mattery, hangry Mattery, hang hangry Maddie. <laughs> hey, Chris. Shout out to the chef. The fish is really good. Good with the seasonings. Chris is a little shy. Anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish our meal here. We actually gotta pack up really quick and run back to the Grand Caribe Hotel, which is where we're staying. Um, there's the main hotel, Grand Caribe, and then there's a sister resort, Sunset Caribe, uh, that we're staying at. So that hotel is sponsoring and holding the event of the Grand Caribe Deep Sea Classic, which is a huge fishing tournament here in Belize that us ladies are fishing with the Marlin Mag Lady Angler team. That's us. So tomorrow we're gonna go flats fishing. Um, huge shout out to Will Mitchell with Remax here in Belize. He set up the whole flat fishing gig for us for tomorrow, but then after that, we are going to be fishing two days in this tournament y'all wish us luck in the comments below right now this video is ending thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and i wish i could close this video out with a beautiful drone shot however i went to fly the drone and it is like heavily restricted there must be a airplane uh, airport somewhere so fortunately i can't do that but i can pan the gopro for you guys anyways guys Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> Shut up. Really? Shelly's gonna be too. No. <laughs> Shut up. Jesus. Toot toot. Be coming in hot. I'll make the boat go faster. Yeah, exactly. It'll be our horn, and the CEO are on our way in. <laughs> <laughs>